city of Albuquerque appears to be zeroing in on a definitive plan for the future of the Rio Grande Bosque, the riverside forest that runs right through the heart of the city. So we have team coverage on this story, including what the city plans to do with the trails. So let's first go to Stuart Dyson, who is live in the Bosque right now with a look at what may lie ahead. Stu? Uh, Tessa, this uh, Bosque plan is a moving target at this point, but it is starting to uh, shape up, and it looks like those who wanted a fully developed San Antonio river walk kind of thing and those who wanted a completely closed off wilderness area are both going to be disappointed. What we're likely to get in the Bosque is more of the same, with some improvements here and there, like better trails, maybe topped with pea gravel to prevent erosion. If you were thinking Starbucks or paddle boat rentals or snow cones, you probably better think again. The people who use it the most want to keep it natural. Just keep it the same. That's perfect for us. You know, just natural environment. We love it. We like it. We came every day to work. Every day. Oh yes, I, we, I bring my son, and I bring some other friends with us. Mm -hmm. I think we should keep it the way it is. Be, uh, the reason I say that is because there's lots of wildlife here that we need to to take care of. Other likely improvements, maybe some more trailside benches here and there, maybe some more picnic tables, better signs with better directions, better parking areas, easier access, especially for people with disabilities. And um, according to a recent independent environmental study done for the city, those are the kinds of improvements that are not likely to uh, or cause what they call adverse impacts or degradation of the Bosque. Back to you. Eddie Garcia continues our team coverage tonight, taking us into the Bosque to show us the big task ahead in protecting it while improving access. Albuquerque's beloved Bosque, a refuge for wildlife and a sanctuary for just about everyone else. Now, keeping the sensitive areas protected while making access easier is a giant job for the Open Spaces Division. So we're really trying to uh, come out with a, a better uh, improved situation for the habitat and the users. Here's one of their big challenges, this spider web of little trails made by visitors just north of Central just breaks up the sensitive wildlife areas and it causes erosion. And all of these little individual trails are bad for the Bosque. That's why the city has a plan in the books to knock that down to two really good trails. And let me tell you, it is detailed all the way down to the type of soil. It's one of many plans, actually, and the Open Spaces Department is actively collecting people's input. Two or three trails could be a solution, especially where the bosque is wider. Okay, here's a look at all those trails as they exist today. And here's one of the proposals to condense them. One would be reserved exclusively for hikers, and the other would be one for cyclists and even horse riding. The challenge is making these few trails attractive to the general public through clear signage and trail surface improvement. If people want to be on a trail system that is good to use, not muddy, not sandy, then they will stay on it. If it's not good to be on the system, then they're going to be trying to make their own off trails. The planning stage is ongoing and the city is looking for your input. In the meantime, expect to see improvements coming very soon to your bosque. Eddie Garcia, KOB, Eyewitness News 4. Well, what kind of improvements would you like to see done to the Bosque? We'd like to hear your thoughts on this topic, and you can share your ideas by finding us on Facebook or Twitter, or click on the Share 4 button at KOB.com or on your mobile device.